Hey wrestling fans, thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose report. Heat's still going on. And you know the WWE is having this big deal about bullying and all this crap. You know it's been going on for years, man, since day one. In fact, I was bullied around, uh, bullied and pushed around by uh, you know a couple, uh, my parents. But hey, uh, by the way, Vin Diesel, uh, he's also in the Riddick movie, and. Uh, one of the callers uh, on the info line said uh, he's probably in supposedly about nine tenths of the movie, so I don't know whether he's in this other movie very long or not. Who knows? We'll find out. Hey, several WWE superstars are going to be joining the Mattel designers for a Q&A session at San Diego uh, Comic Con next month. Uh, Mattel is uh, previewing new products and making announcements about the 2013 WWE toy line. And WWE officials reportedly impressed by Ryback's crowd reaction at live events. Uh, beside Goldberg, chance he ain't ever gonna get over that. I, I don't guess. Till Goldberg shows up and puts an end to it. Uh, the feeling is that fans are starting to like Ryback and the chance his uh, feed me more lines all the time. And you know that would be a way to end Ryback's streak, wouldn't it? Have Go Goldberg show up and knock the crap out of it. Hey, WWE superstar Cody Rhodes says he's quitting Twitter uh, after his 100th tweet. He says currently he's at 98. Cody uh, added that he tried a uh, Twitter thing out and it's just not for him. And that's, that just ruins my day with him not being on there. I, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'll probably have to throw Twitter away. WWE website posted a video of Cody complaining about uh, Smackdown, on SmackDown about... Uh, uh, he and David Otunga failed to qualify for the Money in the Bank against Santino Morella and Christian. Cody said Money in the Bank was uh, his night to shine, and he officially filed a protest with the WWE Board of Directors. And now what? Hey, WWE superstar Cody Rhodes turns 27 today. While WWE diva Alicia Fox turns 26, WWE Hall of Famer Terry Funk turns 68 years old. Can't believe that. I thought he was only 67. Hey, WWE Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels has uh, launched a new line of t-shirts at nrahunting.com slash shop. Uh, anyway, the first shirts uh, feature his uh, Mr. Hall of Fame ring logo on the front and still the showstopper on the back. The second shirt features uh, the championship belt logo and on the front says showstopper on the back. Both shirts are autographed, autographed by Shawn Michaels. Uh, Heath Slater, he's gaining a lot of fans online over the past few weeks after his segments with various WWE legends. And there's online petitions starting to get, uh, starting up to get Slater in Money in the Bank. He wrote, uh, everybody wants to see me in Money in the Bank, WWE, so make it happen or you will be sorry. Who do you think is going to show up next week that he's going to be taking on? Think it'll be Rhino or somebody? Boar! Boar! Uh, anyway, uh, Teddy Long announced uh, last night WWE SmackDown that he's going to be general manager for Raw and SmackDown shows next week. SmackDown aired live, remember, Tuesday with the Great American Bash theme. And Teddy announced uh, the Diva Champion, Layla and Kali, taking on Oksana and Antonio Cicero. That's on the Tuesday live show. Tensai, Morella, Christian, Kid, Sandow, all qualified for uh, heavyweight title, Money in the Bank, ladder match. WWE has apparently filled uh, the rest of those spots on Tuesday's SmackDown. And it appears there's uh, no more superstars to be added to the Money in the Bank title match. Oh. Twitter suspended China's account after former uh, WWE Women's Champion posted numerous messages inciting violence to women. She believes, uh, uh, to a woman anyway, that she believes stole her toy poodle. And China also published personal information on the alleged dog napper. Uh, China, I've seen your movie. You haven't lost your poodle. You just can't see it too well. It's there. WrestlingFigs.com says Marty Gennetti, uh, Gennetti will appear at Pro Wrestling World at Merchant Square. Um, Allentown, Pennsylvania, July 14th, around noon. I don't know if he's doing any autographs. He'll probably just show up there, do some shopping, maybe. July, uh, 
WWE Classics On Demand. It's an international month mystery for Lucha Legends of Mexico. Huge pay-per-views from uh, across the pond. So much more, it says. And a celebration of John Cena's decade of destruction. I don't know about that. WWE.com has published a list counting his 50 greatest matches. The top three matches were listed are table, ladders, and chair matches against uh, Edge at Unforgiven 2006. Number two is a lengthy match against Shawn Michaels at April 23rd, 2007 on Raw. And a 60-minute Anything Goes Iron match for the WWE Championship at Bragging Rights 2009. That's top three. Bottom three, him... Just him coming out and talking. Hey, Zeus, remember him? Well, when he arrived at WWE in 1989, targeting uh, his uh, no holds barred co star uh, Hulk Hogan, and quickly formed a partnership with Hogan's nemesis at the time, Randy Savage and Sensational Sherry, promoting the DVD release No Holds Barred July 3rd uh, this year. WWE is releasing a video titled Moments of Serenity with the Macho Man and Zeus. They dug that up from somewhere. Uh, the video uh, <clears throat> montage features uh, clips of Savage and Zeus and Sherry verbally attacking Hogan and Brutus the Barber Beefcake and uh, promotion of their SummerSlam showdown. The villainous group says would come up short in the pay-per-view uh, encounter as Hogan struck Zeus with Sherry's loaded purse uh, while the referee was distracted, um, which uh, just followed a uh, scoop slam, leg drop for the pinfall, the usual. I think they've had a couple encounters, maybe on TV, Zeus and Hogan, but I, that might have been the only time. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm sure you guys going to let me know. Uh, WWE.com has also added Zeus to their alumni section, who uh, parted ways with the organization December 89 after losing its SummerSlam rematch. Oh, there you go, rematch. See, I don't read these things. Either. Anyway, he uh, resumed his feud with Hogan in uh, World Championship Wrestling in uh, 1996 as a member of the Alliance to end Hulkamania. His band of misfits came up short in Doomsday Cage uh, uh, matches versus uh, Hogan and Savage at Uncensored. Uh, the match is currently airing on WWE Classics on the band as a great WCW moment. I forgot he went over to WCW. Uh, anyway, the Hall of Famer uh, Brad Hart wrote the following on Twitter about Tyson Kidd after uh, qualifying in the Money in the Bank. He said it's about time they sprinkle use some sugar. Congrats. Uh, we noted before that there will be more qualifying matches at Money in the Bank ladder match. Apparently there's going to be uh, four more matches, I guess, putting in total uh, number of superstars in the match, nine. Independent wrestler uh, Tennille Taylor will uh, begin working at WWE Developmental Headquarters or Headquarters Territory, FCW, soon. She aligns with uh, WWE last year, at, but has debuted, um, hadn't debuted because of surgery she had to have on her shoulder. That's bad when you just get the developmental and you already got to have some operations. She says, thank you to all my friends and love support and blah, blah. Sabu, believe it or not, returned to the ring in front of about 200 fans at last night's Extreme Rising event in Queens, New York. Sabu defeated uh, Papa Don in the opener. Uh, some of the other matches, uh, let you know where some of the people are from uh, the old ECW thing. The show went <clears throat> long, uh, went along much better than the first Extreme Reunion did. Uh, former uh, star Sylvester Turkey, remember him? He was in attendance. Uh, he didn't wrestle, but uh, filmed scenes for a zombie versus wrestler movie that uh, Shane Douglas also appears in. Uh, Taya Parker from Rock of Love reality show uh, was acting as Ring Girl. Matt Hardy's girlfriend, Reba Sky, came out and talked about women who paved the way uh, for her to be here, women like Beulah McGillicuddy, Francine. She left, uh, or as she left, former TNA star Homicide came out and they had words. She slapped him uh, and then led uh, him laying her out with a uh, ace crusher. Matt Hardy came out for the save. Well, I think he was a little late, it sounds like, as usual. Shane Douglas, uh, he cut a long promo at the end 
talked about how he was bringing Lucha Libre back and introduced uh, uh, Priscilla uh, Precatida, uh, Super Crazy's nephew, and uh, Bestia uh, 666, and son of Damien 666. They uh, wrestled, and uh, uh, Bestia got the uh, win. Priscilla, I can't pronounce it. Hey, Matt Hardy uh, worked the main event, uh, defeating Jerry Lynn. They both uh, put each other over on the mic after the match. Extreme Rising runs uh, tonight in Philadelphia with Jerry Lynn taking on Matt Hardy and Homicide in the main event. Other appearing at the show is going to be Sandman, Sabu, Gangsters, Balls Mahoney, Blue Meanie, and more. I can read all those names. A uh, for a revealing or for revealing a woman's personal information. China's Twitter account was suspended. Told you about that. I've been devastated the whole time I've read this. Flash Bulletin. China did announce this morning that she has to open a new account at the China. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to get on off of here and go tweet, I guess. I gotta go.